Take a picture right here. This scrumptious always in my camera view. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm coming with the energy that day. And today we're gonna be doing a video on what? Yes, you already see by the title. We're gonna be doing a video on this hair, and we're also gonna be doing a makeup video. So I'm not gonna take too much on this hair. I'm just going to show y'all because I came on here with like some big hair, and um, it's like a a week. Hey, I just looked at the calendar. It's like a week old. No, I would say. It's almost two weeks old and I'm not keeping it in for too much longer. So this is synthetic hair. I actually got it from the beauty supply store. Um, it's called Bouncy. No, I was looking for the Jamaican Bounce and um, they didn't have it, but they said their Jamaican Bounce is, it was called Jumpy, Jumpy Wand Curls. And this is what it looks like. Jumpy Wand Curls, and it's the Model Model brand. Sorry, I don't have what it actually said, but yeah, it's the Model Model brand. So, uh, since I'm about to take this out, this is what the front is looking like. And so, before I do this naked video, I'm about to put my hair up like I've been wearing it this whole time. I'm going to put it up in like a high kind of ponytail, but not really a ponytail. And then I'm going to twist it. And then we're gonna do the makeup and then y'all gotta see that what it looks like after. So let's go ahead and get into this video. Hope y'all enjoy. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and hit that bell because I want y'all to see my journey. Again, for round two, y'all ain't get to see round one, but round two is here, 
And we're gonna try to do this natural look. Do I wanna try to do a natural look or do I wanna do it extravagant? Now we're gonna try to do natural. I haven't gave y'all natural yet. I always give y'all like, boom, boom, a bang, bang. A boom, boom. Y'all feel like my lights are not hitting me the way that they should be. I guess before, let me, let me point it to the mirror and see if that's better. Or should I point it to me? No, let's point it to the mirror. That seems kind of better. For the, for y'all at least. So, I'm going to be looking above y'all, okay? So, bear with me. Today, we're going to be using two makeup palettes. The first one is Revolution Makeup Revolution London. And I think this is, I think this says Sophie. I don't know if it says Sophie. Correct me if I'm wrong. Second one, y'all know about the Nubian Queens. This is the Magic Mini by. Don't get me the line. Okay, here it is. It's this one. And I'm gonna go ahead. I always start with my face. So I'm gonna start with. Well, actually. Oh, I keep forgetting I don't have no dang on concealer. Ooh. This foundation, this is CoverGirl. Yes, real basic Walmart brand, $7, honey. Yo, I was using, um, I did get something for like $18 one time. That's a little expensive for me, but this is Morphe right here. But this is my summertime color. It's winter. So I'm gonna do one two and a half but right now i'm gonna take my clean fingers That's most of the time how I look afterwards. Okay, I'm gonna take some water. I normally used to take my setting powder, but I haven't bought setting powder in a minute. So, I'm gonna squeeze it in there. Do it one more time. Squeeze it in there. Now I'm gonna pat, 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 pat. This is called beating, okay? This is what you call beating your face. This is mainly the part when I look like a ghost. Now, I am going to, you know, I'm gonna go around that with the cookie dough right here. This is, um, this is gonna be my You know what I'm trying to say? So I'm actually gonna do things backwards today. Well, this is not really backwards. I always do my eyelid, like do my base first. But next I am gonna do, Ooh, I'm gonna grab my leg. Next I'm gonna do um, my crease. Check, baby, check, baby, one, two, three. That's why. Anyways, yeah, don't mind the loose hairs. They gonna get in place. Sorry, y'all. I didn't have so many nip slips that I gotta cut it out. If you know me, you know that I am, this is who I am. Just as an eyeshadow brush, I've had this from Five and Below, or probably got it from Dollar General for like a dollar. So here is a good, good brown and a good, good, good brown. So um, I'm about to go in my crease with this 
darker brown as y'all can see i use that like nobody's business so i used to because i stopped using this for a minute minute when i upgraded my palettes or whatever i need new palettes though so if y'all do not know i'm gonna tell you right now i've been celibate okay since my birthday 2016 no 2015 actually wow wow that's crazy september 2015 so that's almost five years because it's 2020 honey and my birthday is in seven months and like 28 days ah! oh these little gnats man my plants i'm trying to eat my plants so um yeah i've been celibate for four stinking years and uh, not stinking years i mean um four and a half lovely years and it's been amazing actually actually it's been very um rewarding okay weed them out if they only want you for your booty <laughs> you gonna see cutie <laughs> oh lord jesus help me be serious and not look like a clown lord okay at this point this is it natural brown <laughs> all right so now i'm about to go i'm about to um in my crease i normally use that for my crease but um so i've been telling it i didn't say that about five times for almost five years and this is how it came about so i already knew in my mind that having sex was just wrong i knew this since i was a little girl and i was like lord god let me repent every time i have sex and you know what the last time i had sex i actually freaking repented i was praying on this dude chair so i was like lord forgive me oh my god Yo, dad. Dad, -ay. you know what I'm saying? Dad, -ay. dad, -ay. dad, -ay. <laughs> for real. Now I prayed so God, and I was like, "Forgive me, Lord," because at this point, this dude was not my boyfriend. I had just broke up with my boyfriend, and it was like we hadn't been together for like three months, which is we never got back together, period, at all. No romantics, no fights. We good. But three months after my breakup, I was like, you know what? You know, the first time I went over this dude's house, I was looking out the window. I was looking out the window like a sad puppy. I was like, this is this is bad. Like, what if he finds out? Girl, he's not talking to you anymore. It's all that. Y'all are not for each other. So let me get this concealer out real quick. This concealer is too dark for me, but I'm gonna use it for my eyelids today. Um. So what happened? off me whatever it's not the same but it's okay okay so um this what happened i was at the club it was my 23rd birthday drinking drinking and mind you i was not with my regular set of friends i was with one of my good friends and one of her good friends and we was just like drinking hey turn up let's go but what what but what but what and i had bought this dress that i got from my job and i was like this is the dress i'm wearing on my birthday this is perfect it was so cute if i find a picture i'm gonna insert it 
so i was planning on going to this dude's house the whole time so me i'm over here being thirsty when i get out the club i'm like you woke I drove over there, not from downtown, but when I got back to my friend's house, I was like, bye, I gotta go, bye. <laughs> anyways, so I go over there. It was honestly horrible. You know what? Because we were like, we wasn't arguing, but we was like arguing and laughing at the same time. It was like, you a bully, but I'm a bully too. <laughs> so we kind of understand each other. Not, never mind. It was just bad. It was really bad. And um, things went down. Things went too far. A little bit. And uh, you know what happened? I had sex. Showed it. And then you know what happened the next morning? I woke up. You know why? Because I had to be at church. <laughs> Exactly, Christians. Don't be judging, because I'm a Christian, too. And I was, a, I was a faithful Christian up in church. And I was like, I have to go to church. Like, I have to take out whatever's in my hair that look a mess. And I have to be at church. So, you know what? I'm looking for my phone. I'm trying to figure out what time it is. I'm like, what time is it? What time is it? What time is it? And I was like, where's my phone? I was like, how did I even get on this side of the bed? I'm like, where's my phone? I'm like, I don't know. Look for it. I'm like, Shh. Don't you think that I would have looked for it already? If I'm asking you, hello? So you know what I did? I went on the other side of the bed where I thought I was. And I got my phone. And you know what? I changed my clothes. Dipped up out of there. And then as soon as I closed the door. As soon as I closed the door, I was like... I, I forgot I left my dress left my freaking dress but they have one of those doors where like if you close it and it's locked on the inside but then you can open it from the inside it's gonna be locked on the outside basically so i'm like i ain't about to knock on this dude's door forget that dress so that's what um that's how honestly i became so bad because <laughs> when i left i was zooming out of there i was like you know what i'm never doing this again i ain't never doing this again without my husband that's exact those are the words that came out of my mouth so that's facts 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 honey your girl is hold on check is this the right one yeah this is the right one so yeah i've been celibate ever since and it's honestly the best decision that i've ever made because i'm a virgo not saying that you can't be with somebody that honestly those little zodiac signs they're very true to a certain extent but the way my faith is set up if i choose them because god does give us choice and god ordains it that's exactly how i'm about to be with it, it don't matter about no dang old zodiac y'all better stop letting that block y'all blessings but um It's the best thing that happened to me because I can see actually from the outside looking in. I can see from the outside looking in now that those stuff that having sex before marriage is really just very, very, very toxic no matter what way you kind of you trying to put it. And it's like things can be bright. Things can be okay. We're living our best life. We having sex. Um, and we still together. And we happy. But listen. Things can go down in your marriage. And now you marry. Things can go down in your marriage that was never supposed to go down. And may, <laughs> what if you never supposed to even be with that person in the first place? What if you blocking your own blessing because you think this is who you're supposed to be with? And then, boom, failed. And people are so quick to get a divorce. Or want a divorce not quick to get one but they want a divorce and i'm just like i've seen a lot a lot even people that i don't know it's like you can make it right you can honestly make it right just because you had sex before in your in your relationship 
You can honestly make it right. You can. You can say, listen, I'm trying to do it God's way. And if you don't like it, we're going to have to work something out, okay? We ain't have to take something out, period. All right. And you know what you're not going to do? You're not going to step out on something God wants, okay? But so, that stuff does open your eyes. It opens them eyes to reality and what people really and how people really think anyways like i was saying people what was i saying i don't know people just try to work their way around just because they want to have sex or think they can change their mind but not me because me i'm too dang gone strong-minded and some people don't want to be with no strong-minded behind female especially not this one because you're not gonna bend lose with me. So you guys, this is my um final result. This is how the hair looks. Couple of skin in the back, I do not know. But, um, thank y'all for watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I gotta go because my phone is almost running out of storage. I gotta hurry and edit this video for y'all. But thank you so much for watching. I hope y'all learned some stuff. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'm gonna do a slow down for y'all. Speed up, slow down. Uh, me, cause I got the check on me. Perfect. Perfect.